Hello, how are you? I'm just drinking it all in as you get settled. Thank you. Take it all in. We have all day. <laughs> can you can you do the camera horizontal? Okay. Or does it work? Oh, that's much better. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. I didn't want to lose your outfit, that's all. Oh. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Very understated mm -hmm. today. Yeah, just remove the <laughs> that. There's no point of using that. How are you today? I'm good. How are you today? I'm good. A bit, uh, you know, a bit tired, but it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. A bit feathery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A bit feathery. Just a little bit. I'm just going to adjust this. You get that camera angle right. Mm hmm Is this your husband behind you? Yeah, it's Hi. my husband. The one you have sex with at least once a day? Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> That's fine. We actually didn't have it today because, you know, I have to do my face. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. There's not going to be any time today. What are you going to do? Uh, what's that? There's not going to be any time today. What are you going to do? After the interview, he'll do my face. <laughs> 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 that yeah, was quite a reveal good. last night yeah. you, you shared with the world i know I, there's more but i yeah they didn't show it <laughs> oh maybe you'll tell us today yeah maybe <laughs> so yeah. before we get going i want to just talk about our sponsor for a second and then i'm going to bring you on does that sound all right okay yeah that's perfect all right. Welcome, everyone. I'm Sean Pru. This interview is sponsored by IM.Health, a shining star in the health movement across Canada. IM.Health is a national movement aimed at empowering everyone to take the next step towards HIV testing, particularly our vulnerable and underserved, underserved communities. They're making it super easy to do that as well by offering free HIV self-test kits through their website. The goal, to crank up awareness and encourage everyone to get tested. Tested is the only way to truly know your HIV status, and knowing your status opens the door to a world of support, care, and treatment, all accessible through their website. Let's give a shout out to the incredible support behind this initiative from the MAP Center for Urban Health Solutions at St. Michael's Hospital here in Toronto. So everyone, make your way to im.health. That's the URL. It's time to champion health and wellness for all and create a brighter, healthier future together don't you agree kiki yes you know knowing your status and taking care of your health is number one thing especially in a gay community because you know we like to play and slay at the all time <laughs> <laughs> well we, if you don't know your status you can't get the support you need and and, and the health care that you need exactly it's very important um, Welcome to to uh, to this time together. Um, Kiki Ko, everyone from Canada's Drag Race is joining us right now. Ottawa Royalty. Are you in the nation's capital right now? Yes, I'm in, I'm in just across the bridge. I'm in Gatineau, Quebec side, but I, I usually represent Ottawa and perform in Ottawa. So yeah, and I don't speak French, so. <laughs> you don't speak French? No, my husband français. does. But oh, I, he does. Yeah, he's a French Canadian. Yeah, you um of all the queens, and I don't want to insult any queen, but you really serve the looks this season. Like elaborate, oh. unforgettable. Oh, thank you. And you know, like going to this competition, that was my main goal. My was main it? goal is to really show my creativity and what I can make and do with comes with fashion. And for me, my dream is to actually work with, you know, fashion magazine, walk on the runway and wear a lot of designer clothes. And as a designer, as a designer, it's also a good feeling to wear someone else's creation. You know, it, it, it's, 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 it's almost like an honor for me to wear someone else's creation, for them to trust me to represent their brand to sell it yes um you served my favorite creation of of the season it was i it was early in the season black and yellow wide brimmed hat with black crystals dangling from the brim a big black bow your oh, face was painted yeah. yellow and blue uh, and black to match it took my breath away that's uh sunglasses at night that's actually yes. designed 
that's actually designed by my best friend Isis Couture, season two, oh, Carla Graduates winner. Yes. Um, you designed uh, a lot of her looks. Yeah, in and uh, you know, I actually embodied even her makeup, and I don't know if uh, if I said that on the show. And people are comparing our makeup together because like it's good because it, it works because that's my goal is to actually embody Isis on that runway because she did she designed it. And also she yeah, she helped me a lot and on my process. And it's actually actually like I'm so so glad and grateful that I have her by, by my side at that time. Riddle me this, why do so many queens enter this competition without knowing how to sew at this point in the franchise when we know there's going to be design competitions? I'm always astounded when I see queens can't sew. They're just stubborn. Explain. They're just stubborn. <laughs> they just like the hot like, glue gun. It's like, it's like for me, I don't care. I don't care if you sew or not. If you don't know if you know how to use hot glue gun, I can make a dress using hot glue gun. <laughs> you just know you just need to know how to use it properly and not show the glue and also they're probably like you know they're probably like so like oh i can lip sync my way through to the finale you know, that kind yeah. of mentality yeah. and for me and for me if you don't know how to like even make a bodysuit or something and you're going to this you're like going in a war without a gun so it's totally. like it, it, it it's like you're, you're going just... to a knife fight with a pillowcase exactly you know so it's like make sure in, in any kind of competition in any kind of a battle make sure that you're ready that you are fully yeah. loaded like it, it it's it's like for me like you know like in this i'm not saying that i know everything in this competition because obviously i i also need a little bit of training here and there on doing stuff which is i learn i learn going through this this kind of competition, but sewing is not something that you learn like this, you know? No. So it's, um, it, it's a must, it's a must to learn how to design and obviously have an eye. And for me, that's, um, I'm very grateful to have that gift that I have an eye for fashion. And as what you see, what I'm wearing right now is I made it like everything Beautiful. is all, all the stones and all the feathers in hand picked and hand, glued on this and this is this is glue and sewing all together you aren't just a an accomplished designer though you're also a chef de partie and you competed on chopped canada um yeah. what was yeah. more stressful the kitchen or the workroom uh the, like for me uh what would it like what would i say like i think um i would say the same in a different way because i love when I'm in the kitchen, I like I like bossing people around. <laughs> I'm very known with that. Um, I'm very organized, and um, I like my things to be in in places, you know, yes. in the kitchen. And in the kitchen, running a big uh, a big production kitchen like that, like Weston, you got to be really organized and on top of your game. And because one thing goes wrong, your your head is on the line. Yes. So and we're feeding a lot of people. So that's the other thing too. And you got to know how to delegate different people because you got to talk to them different way because everybody has different personality. You got to mm -hmm. adjust with what you got. You um, were this when, way though in the workroom though. You weren't bossy in the workroom. Uh, that's the thing. Um, in, the, in, the, in the workroom, you know, the camera's on. And as a classic queen, we have a lot of things that, uh, we used to, we can say as a joke and all that, and now we can't. And those are the things that I still, sometimes I still need to like to think about, oh, we can say that anymore. We can say that anymore because we're going to offend people. Um, right. And, I, I'm, and you know, I think, I think it's a working process. And I think I learned a lot going through that thing. But for me, if I, if I give it a chance again to come back, definitely they're going to see the spicy side of me because I am spicy and they haven't seen of me. And this season, nobody came for me. I was just waiting for that. Nobody came for me to nobody try Nobody came me. for you. No, You nobody... brought a lot of positive energy to the show, though. I, I think and, you and... you were the positive factor in, yeah, in every and, episode. And for me, even though it's it's weird because I saw, as soon as I walk in the room, I have that like aura right away. Oh, the mother is mothering. And I'm like, I don't want to be the mother. I want I want to be like the bitch, you know? 
it's like like it's like I don't know I I'm just giving that like well naturally I'm very nice and I'm very warm I'm very welcoming and I'm very hospitable but don't don't come for me because I'm for the third world country I can defend myself in any possible way so it's it's like it's like for me I was just waiting for that one person to come for me and they and didn't though. Well, they didn't have it they didn't they didn't um, they didn't come for me. You were so positive and joyful. Like I've never seen so much delight and joy uh, from an, someone who's just been eliminated and sent home. Even when you were leaving the stage, you were just full of of of, of positivity and delight and joy, yeah. as I said. And and it's a good thing, I guess, in a season that's had its fair share of drama. What did you make mm -hmm. of Melinda Verga's hot glue gun mess meltdown a couple of uh, episodes ago? Being who What's you that are. again? What did you ma make of Melinda Verga's uh, meltdown a couple of episodes ago? What did I make of? Or like, yeah, what, what did you think about it? Oh, what did I think about it? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I think Melinda is, you know, she saw an opportunity and she grabbed it and it's a perfect timing. And obviously, it's not only about that. Um, we are all in a pressure cooker. And I know how she feels. I know how she feels because if they put me on that position knowing that I put a lot of effort in that outfit. It's just not fully transformed. But the technique that she showed and she she did on that outfit is there. Yes. And she just didn't completely uh, uh, understand the assignment. But if I was in her position, I think I would I would I would go ballistic too. Because I as a designer and so she is um you know it's it's a little bit insulting to see to say to hear all of that comments from the judges especially knowing that i help the other girls yes she helped the other girls and she didn't even get a credit for it for it i help most of the girls they didn't show it they didn't show it on on the on the show every fucking single girl came to my station and asked me question how to do this how how do I start this? Like this and this and, and this. Show it. They didn't show that. You know what I mean? Like it it it's it's like for me, it's um it's and I don't have to, I don't like I, I'm saying that now because we're talking about it, but I didn't really talk about it online. You know, I didn't have to brag about it, or oh, I help this, I help this, I help this. Like I help denim too. Yeah. You know, like of all of all the girls, denim is the one that we helped a lot. Like basically, she probably made like I don't know, I'm not Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking about that. <laughs> um, well, well, let me ask you this: You mentioned um, at the top of the show last night's episode, we were talking about sex positivity. Um, mm -hmm. You shared that you you have sex with your husband once a day, and then you mm -hmm. just said that there's stuff that you also shared that you didn't um, get a chance to see aired. Do you want to share that now? Uh, you know, like um, once in a while, we spice it up, and uh, you know, like. For us in the relationship, we are human beings, and I'm not. I'm not saying that to do this to everybody. This is not for everybody. We have, um, you know, we have an open relationship, but always together, and that actually strengthened our relationship. We've been together sure. for twelve years. We've yeah. been together for twelve years. You know, like especially when when we're in different place, city, because like here everybody knows everybody, um, but when we're in different city, like we we play. I think it's important that you design your relationship when you're in one, that you don't just follow the rules of, of what society says no, you should be doing. You design it like, the way it works for you. I'm tired and sick of whatever society has to say about what mm. we should, how we should live our life. And I lived it to, I lived it already half of my life. So like, I'm done with it. Like I, that's the reason why I, had a hard time coming out because there's always this like statue of like a man should be how you look like, how you act and how you, how you, how you do things. And like, for me, like, why am I trying to fit this box? And I'm not really happy, Yes, you know, and I'm always thinking about what other people will say about me. Are they happy at the end of the day? It's my life. It doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter. And like, when I realized that, it's you know like and then I realized that and I made I, I felt I felt so much better when I finally came out and accept who I am and what I am. 
I think that's the lesson that Drag Race teaches everybody. That that's a very valuable one to to learn. Um, I'm looking at the time. I'm almost out of time with you. Last question: What's something that um, the experience of being on Drag Race um, that audience was will never fully see or understand? Uh, will never fully understand. Um, whatever happened last night. <laughs> 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 I really thought I really uh, I really thought I I really thought like you know I deserve to go home that moment but after watching the episode last night bitch I don't know anymore I like, thought you did better than denim in the lip sync and I'm I sorry denim denim you do your split and you do your back slap <laughs> bitch you, do, you don't need to do that it's there's no space for split or back slap on that song and I embody that lip sync. I'm sorry. You did. But I you her. did. I, I think it's because you were in the bottom too many times before they looked at the It doesn't matter. I want a challenge. She did not. That's it. <laughs> I don't disagree That's with I'm you. Saying. I'm saying. I'm just saying, you know, I want a challenge. And if you know all the teas, let me ask me now. I'm out of the competition. And you know what? You're going to see. And this is another thing. If I come back, they're going to see this. They're going to see me saying or what is what's on my head because i held i hold back a lot on the show i hold back a lot on the show and and that's what i learned that's the biggest lesson that i learned on the show is just to fucking say what you think because that's what they want and you know what you're gonna get it i'm glad you didn't you're hold back with us it. today thanks for giving it to us uh kiki nice to kiki with you i wish you all the best many blessings in 2024 and thanks for coming on today Thank you. Thank you so much. That was great. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.